Good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Maths with Is and in this video I want us to calculate the surface area of a cone and as we know a cone has two parts we have the curved surface all around the figure and we have the base if the base is closed then it is circular and we have to calculate the area of that circle plus the area of the curved surface. So find the total surface area of the cone shown and by extension we may also find the volume of the, the, the prism. So the surface area, so to speak, the surface area is the area of base uh, plus the area of the curved surface. And the area of the base is actually pi r squared plus the area of the curved surface is pi r l. This you will capture it in the previous video. If we have a cone then the area of the curved surface is found through or by this formula where l is the length of the slanting side. So this one is um, the radius is 5 so 5 squared times pi is 25 pi plus pi r l. You realize that l is not very direct because it's just this slanting height, but we can pick a right angle triangle, this to the bottom, to the center of the bottom. It is this side, we can talk about 12, and then this is the radius, which is five. And using Pythagoras, whereby we have uh, 12 squared plus 5 squared, this is easily equals to 12 squared plus 5 squared is equals to 165, and the root of answer is 13. So the root of this, which is this, is actually 13. So this is 13 centimeters. So the pi r l is actually pi times r, which is 5 times 13. And you can see this is already 13 times 5, which is 65 uh, times 5, which is 65 pi. So we have 25 pi plus 65 pi, which is 90 pi, um, uh, 90 pi, which is already equals to 283 centimeters squared which is 283 centimeters squared. And that is the total surface area of that particular prism. Well, I may want to calculate the volume of the same. The volume is easy. The volume is given by a third times the base area, the base area multiplied by the perpendicular height. And you can already see that we have the perpendicular side as height as 12. So we are going to have a third times pi 5 squared, or rather 25 pi base area, the base is circular, uh, times 12, which is um, the perpendicular height. And here we are going to have um, uh, uh, 25 pi over 3 times 12. And you can see by 3, 1, by 3, 4. And this is 100 pi. And this 100 pi, uh, 20, 25, uh, this is 4, this, this is 12, by 3, 1, by 3, 4. And we have uh, 25 times 4, which is 100 pi. And this 100, 100 uh, pi is basically 314, this is 314 centimeter cubed, and that is the volume of that particular prism. Thank you, and let's meet in the next question.